So I just got my new bicycle pedal here. This is from Eyong High Case. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but if I did not, I apologize. But anyways, here it is guys. This is a lightweight pedal. And um, you could use this on your road bike, your BMX, your mountain bike, pretty much any bike that you are using, you could use this. So let's check it out guys and see what's inside. And uh, we'll try to install this on my Daehan folding bike. So let's check it out. All right, so here we go. There's one of the pedal. You get your other pedal here and nothing else. Okay, let's see what it looks like. And there it is, guys. It's got that nice racing sleek profile to it. You've got all the studs right there, both sides. And um, the weight is pretty light, guys. Pretty, pretty light. So let's try to weight one of this and see how heavy it is. Let's turn this on. And grams, it weights 143 grams. So that's pretty light, guys. So once I remove my stock, pedal on the day on day on folding bike i'll measure that as well and we'll see if there's any difference between them but so far i'm liking the pedal the look of this this thing is made of aluminum or steel i can't remember but it is light guys okay so let's check out my bike here so there is my day on folding bike this is a 24 speed um, Road, uh, road or mountain bike it's pretty much a hybrid guys so as you can see I'm, I've got a couple of upgrades that I've done I've changed the stem here to a much shorter stem and also the handlebar has been changed as well and now I will be upgrading the pedal here so here is the stock pedal this one folds as you can see hold on this one folds like that and unfolds and here is the new pedal that i'm going to be installing see the difference look at the difference guys so it's got such a low profile and it's lightweight so what you need to do first to remove the stock one is you need to grab your 5 8 Allen wrench. I don't know if that's what's called. Okay, you know what? Let's try to measure the weight first before I install this. We'll weight the stock one first. So the stock pedals, stock pedal is 243 grams and the new pedal is 142 grams so as you can see there's a huge difference when it comes to weight and look at that profile difference guys let me just measure the width so you guys have an idea what is the width and the length on this the length is approximately almost four inch long the width is roughly around three inch, more than three inch long, uh, wide, and the thickness is roughly around half an inch or so. So it's got a slim profile to it, guys. All right, so let's put this on. So off the bat, it's got that nice limb profile look to it. Let me just tighten it up with my Allen key here, Allen key wrench. So there you go, one side is done. Now we're gonna try to finish up the other side.
grab your Allen key. And just make sure to tighten it. All right, so that's it. I'll show you guys a walk around the final product here. And uh, we'll do a test drive and see how it feels. So there it is, guys. I finally got both sides installed. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful looking pedal there, guys. Look at that slim profile. Look at those studs over here. Amazing studs for good grips. Let's check the other side. So it's got that nice racing look to it. And uh, I'm pretty much almost done modifying my bike. There's a couple more parts that I need to get. Um, the carbon fiber seat post, which should be coming next week. I'll be installing that as well. And also I am planning to change the tires here to the, to the road tires. This one's a little bit thicker. As you can see, I want to get a more slimmer, sleek tire for the road. But I am quite impressed with this pedals. It looks amazing on this bike. And uh, yeah. So it feels good guys there's a lot of grips on the studs my shoes is just sticking to it your shoes will not slip slide off or anything like that it just sticks right on the pedals because of those studs I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself. And if you guys have another, any other questions that you need to ask me, just leave me a comment down below. So once again, thanks for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.